C. Lindelof videos, AP Cal, finding an equation to the line tangent to a hyperbola, given a point, in this case, this is a question we love to hate, where our professor gives us a point that's not really a point, just calls it some initial point maybe, and doesn't give us the rest of our equation, just gives us what it must look like. I'm going to take that, all that crap, and I'm just going to go from here and say, you know, I declare that I'm going to take the I'm going to take the derivative of this. I'm going to take ddx of this mess. I'm going to go ahead and do that. As I do, I'm going to get 2x over a squared, right? Minus 2y over b squared, y prime, right? Take the derivative of this. And after I take the, deri the derivative of this, of the outside part of this is 2y, but then I have to look at this as if this was an inside part here, right? So I, what's the derivative of the inside? Well, the derivative uh, of y is y prime. So that's how I got that. Is equal to 0. I'm going to subtract this. I'm going to subtract this from both sides. I'm going to do a little bit of quick algebra here. I'm going to subtract 2x over a squared from both sides. So I'm going to get negative 2yb squared times y prime is equal to negative 2x over a squared. I'm just showing you this. I'm going to multiply the whole thing by negative 1. So negative 1 times this whole thing makes this negative go away and this negative go away. That's all fair algebraically, right? Uh, from here, I have to multiply by the reciprocal to get rid of this crap here, don't I? So if I multiply by, by the reciprocal here, just to show you what I did, I'll get that y prime is equal to, and what does that turn out to be? Negative b squared x over a squared y, a squared y. If I just multiply this by that. So this is all pretty crappy looking. To, to make matters worse, we have to continue to talk to our professor and say, hey, okay, well, in an abstract way, this is my derivative here. So this is my derivative at this point. And I know what point you gave me. You gave me the point x sub 0, y sub 0, or x initial, y initial, however you want to describe that. I'm going to plug that into slope-intercept form. So I have y minus y initial is equal to the derivative B, x, uh, b negative b squared x over a squared y times x minus, and our x sub 1 value is x sub initial, is there. From here, you can keep going from here if you would like. This thing does play out, and you can continue to make this work. It becomes a little bit obnoxious. Um, I guess the one thing I should have said here was this is x initial, y initial. That is that is actually important. So b squared x initial, a squared y initial times x minus x initial, in this case, plus y initial. So there's my answer, uh, as beautiful as it is. And you can see that on the multiple choice section of the AP Cal exam. So good luck. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Thanks.